This presentation will explain how the curve effect can be used to extend the frequency sweeping range of a chirped optical pulse and how this can be used to enhance the sensing range of chirped pulse phi OTDR. The presentation will explain the theory behind the chirp pulse phi OTDR, the curve effect, and how it can be exploited to create frequency sidebands, and the experimental setup used to combine these two methods. The experimental results will be shown, and applications to other systems relying on chirped optical signals will be discussed. Chirp pulse phi OTDR relies on sending optical pulses with an inherent frequency sweep into optical fibers and recording the signal generated due to Rayleigh backscattering. If changes in temperature or strain shift the scattering centers, the recorded Rayleigh signal will experience a small time delay. The relationship between the time delay and the perturbation will be linear for small perturbations. Note that the chirp delta V being small implies high sensitivity and a low sensing range. Higher chirping ranges imply a lower sensitivity but an extended sensing range. If two frequencies of light are launched into an optical fiber, their interference leads to sinusoidally varying optical power. Due to the nonlinearity parameter gamma, this leads to a sinusoidal modulation of the refractive index, which creates frequency sidebands. These sidebands are located at integer multiples of the input frequency difference. Therefore, increasing the input frequency difference causes higher order sidebands to undergo greater frequency shifts. This setup was used for generating chirp pulses, extending the chirping range, and using them to measure the temperature of a random fiber grading array. After being generated electronically, the chirp pulses are split into two branches. Unenhanced pulses are sent directly to the random fiber grading array, and the Rayleigh trace is recorded. The other pulses are sent into a highly nonlinear fiber along with a high power CW pump. A tunable filter is used to extract particular sidebands to obtain pulses with an extended chirping range. These are subsequently used for measurements. A spectrum is recorded after the co-medium to demonstrate sideband generation for orders up to 13. The frequency labeled zero corresponds to the high power pump and the frequency labeled one corresponds to the chirp pulses at the input. Comparing sidebands one, two, and three shows that the chirping range is indeed scaled up by integer values as predicted. These plots show the recorded Rayleigh traces before and after a temperature change. For small temperature changes, there is a small time delay and the traces remain highly correlated. In plot A, the traces remain correlated for a temperature change of 0.1 degrees. If increased to 0.2 degrees, as in figure B, the traces decorrelate, indicating high sensitivity but low range. If the same measurement is carried out with the sixth order sideband, a temperature change of 0.6 degrees is required for the traces to begin to decorrelate, indicating that the sensing range has been increased. This plot shows the recorded time delay for a range of temperature changes. For unenhanced pulses, the slope is around 11. Slopes for higher order sidebands are equal to 11 divided by the appropriate integer values corresponding to the sideband number. Due to decreasing signal to noise ratio for higher order sidebands, the sixth order sideband is the highest one used for measurements. Note that the slopes become negative for sidebands corresponding to negative values. Here, the direction of the chirp is reversed. The technique applied in this work can be utilized in existing chirp pulse biotidar systems to enhance the sensing range. The present experiment only investigated local temperature changes, but the method can be extended to distributed measurements. The ability to broaden or even reverse chirped optical pulses could be useful in chirp pulse amplification, dispersive Fourier transform, or other similar systems for all optical signal processing. In conclusion, the extension of the chirping range of optical pulses by factors up to 13 is demonstrated. The sensing range of a chirp pulse phi OCDR system was enhanced by factors up to six. The technique can be applied to existing chirp pulse phi OCDR systems and other optical techniques.